Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, so I want to say welcome. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, liking, all of that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get started because I always say, oh, it's going to be a quick video, and it never is. So obviously from the title down below, you can tell I placed a few orders online with Sephora. There was their VIB Rouge um, event. It was like 20% off for like five days or something like that. And basically a VIB Rouge is someone who spends way too much money at Sephora. And last year I spent way too much money at Sephora. Yeah, let's get started. I did place three online orders. I like to do it online because I go through Ebates. I have a link down below. Uh, you go through Ebates, you type in Sephora, you click on that link and it brings you to the Sephora site to place your order, but you get cash back. And there was actually like double cash back, so it was like 8%. So it's nice, I was getting the 20% off of my orders and then also getting 8% cash back for everything that I was actually ordering. So the first item I got is this atomizer. It just came in this little box from Sephora. It's Sephora branded and it's in the amethyst color. And it's really pretty. And I have been looking for one of these all over, um, you know, on Holt Look. And, you, you know, they're just always like 20 bucks or more, which is ridiculous to me. Um, so this is the color that was on sale. And I don't really know how to work it. The instructions are in a different language, which whatever. But I guess um, you just stick this onto your perfume bottle and I don't know if you pump or you know I'll look it up whatever and it fills this up with 55 sprays of your perfume which is really nice if you're traveling so really cute I was excited to get it an extra 20% off and with the 8% off also now the next two things I got were these bite beauty little um holiday like gift things I'm just looking at my receipt these are the bite beauty mix and mingle lip minis so I got a gloss and then one of the lip pencil kind of things so let's look at that one first this is the deluxe matte lip cream lip crayon and I got it in is it glace glace uh something like that this is the bottle and it's actually really nice these are $12 I believe and it's really cute because you can kind of give this as like a little gift to your hostess if you're going to someone's house hang it on their tree these are really great stocking stuffers um uh, they're not stocking stuffers for me. They're just little gifts for me. <laughs> but this is what it comes like. And I mean, it's not a ton of product. I have used some of these products. Uh, you know, it's not like a ton if you, you know, look. But I mean, I rarely go through anything ever. So I'm not disappointed. Really creamy. This is just a very natural color on me. Uh, I know it looks really, really dark. When it's on my lips, it's not as dark, um, which may sound weird, but I just absolutely love it. It's just one of those things that you don't have to think about. It's just one of those beautiful colors that you slap it on and you go on with your day. So I've been wearing this a lot to work and I absolutely love it. I love the packaging. They're very creamy. It's freezing right now. I know in like warmer weather areas, these melt very easily in on people's purses or pockets or whatever. Um, it's like seven degrees outside, so <laughs> I don't have that problem. Uh, the other one I got is this adorable, I just think the packaging is adorable, uh, gloss, and this is the Deluxe Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. And the, I was gonna say flavor, I guess it is flavor. The flavor I got is guava. And look how cute. So it's definitely smaller, you know, in size, but these are just adorable. My husband even loves the way this smells. They smell delicious. I wanna put it on, but I really shouldn't. And it is just such a pretty color. They're very pigmented. Um, you know, I'm really surprised. Obviously, once you put it on the lips, it shears out a little bit, but it does have a nice color. And I and they last a, a decent amount of time. The wand is really nice. It's larger. It's longer, and it has, like, this weird um, angle. You know, it's kind of, it's straight here, and then, I don't know, the doe foot just kind of angles up, but it's perfect for your lip, which maybe for the normal person is the perfect amount, just that tip. But I need the whole wand because... I got bigger lips. Um, so the second order I placed with Sephora was for the Sephora branded solid brush cleaner and the Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color. Now I got one of these, I'll show you this guy, uh, this little guy first. I got one of these in like a pinker color over the summer. And I was really excited. I really wanted like Petal, but it was, it's always out of stock online. And 
Um, I, I just can't bother to go in store sometimes. And I didn't like it. It was very patchy and streaky on my lips and it had like that ring that you get on the inside of your mouth. Disgusting. It just didn't go well with my complexion either. And I was trying to make it work like I would dab it on kind of. And I'm like, you know, for 16 bucks or something like that, I'm not, there's no way I'm returning it. So I still have yet to return it, but I really wanted to try this. This is in Cranberry and it is beautiful. I love the packaging here. It's just so pretty, um, but it's beautiful. It's not what I'm wearing. I don't need any more reds, but such is life. It has a very long, like flat, wide paddle brush, which I really, really like. Oh, like a dream. I know my swatches are never pretty. They're never consistent, but this is beautiful. It's not as matte as the, the one I'm wearing right now. It's also a deeper red. Um, I think you guys can tell. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the... Um, well, first of all, I'm looking behind the camera because the Patriots game is playing, so that's on and I'm recording it for my husband because uh, he's traveling. He's actually on his way home now. But um, so I'm looking at that and then because I'm looking at the TV, I'm seeing myself and looking at the swatches. But yeah, so this is a deeper red than the one I'm wearing now, which I will talk about later. But I love it. This is so creamy. It goes on beautifully. I actually do not need because the paddle brush is so thin and wide and flat. Um, I don't need a lip liner. Well, I mean, I would recommend one regardless. I always <laughs> would recommend one. But I was wearing like a completely different color that wore off by the end of the day. And on my way home, I put this on in the car before I started driving. Okay, fine. I was at a red light. And I didn't need the lip liner to get a precise application. And it's just a... Oh God, guys, look how beautiful that is. Like you could see as it's drying how beautiful it is. There's like, you know... A heavier application at the bottom but it's just this is gorgeous I highly 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 recommend this beautiful it's great now I just washed some of my face brushes so that I could kind of review this for you guys um I saw this or I think I heard about it from Rochelle from Glam Moms and then someone else had mentioned it in another vi another video and it's just a solid brush cleaner I will say the Sephora um at Sephora the Beauty Blender solid soap cleaner is by far the best brush sponge cleanser I've ever used. But I think it's like 20 bucks or somewhere between like 19 and 22 bucks. But this guy I think is 15 or $14. And then I got the 20% off and again, 8% cash back with Ebates. And what I really liked is, uh, now it is used, so I don't really wanna like show you guys. I think this is also actually like stuck to this. It's just like a, a white bar soap. You don't need to see. But it comes with this little, scrubby do guy which just comes out the only thing I don't like is there's not like a grip on the back for your fingers or a little suction thing it's just like flat so it makes it because it's so small it can be a little hard with your bigger brushes um, to really get a good grip so you can get in there but it's nice because it has all of these um, different size little nubs so they're wider and as they get to the center they get smaller so it's really good for your smaller brushes you just kind of go in the center and then the bigger brushes you know it just assists it helps I've actually been using this little face scrubber thing that I got at Sephora for like I got it half off it was like three bucks when I got it and it does have a little suction thing on the back and that's really good for getting your eye makeup off and I used it like once or twice for my makeup brushes to see if I can you know you because I don't want to get like that big old mitt from Sigma I want to spend like $80 on something. It's like ridiculous. But um, I really like it. I was kind of sold because I'm like, well, I can get the scrubby thing and the soap. And it actually smells really nice. And it works really, really well. I cleaned some makeup brushes that I've been using a lot. And my uh, e.l.f. small stipple brush as well as my foundation brush. And it worked really, really well. So I'm actually really pleased with this. I would recommend this if you use the Beauty Blender one. Save yourself a few bucks and get this guy. So, oh, look at these swatches. Swatches make me so happy. I probably should, should have filmed this second. I have another video to film, so there's going to be swatches everywhere. Okay, guys. I got Lime Crime. I know there's a lot of um, conspiracy now with Lime Crime, and, or not conspiracy, controversy. Um, I saw on Instagram someone had posted, like, oh my god, Sephora is selling Lime Crime now. So I went on, placed an order literally within two seconds. Um, okay, maybe a little longer because I, like, looked up people with my complexion and swatches on their lips and things like that but after the fact I found out there was like a lot of controversy with people affiliated with Lime Crime or like the owners or creators and just not you know like their lifestyle and you know jokes that they were making and things like that it's very non 
um, PC and things like that. So, um, I don't know. But I did hear about that and I think that might be the reason why Sephora pulled them from their site. Uh, I don't know. But I did get these guys. So I really have been wanting the Velveteens um, for like... <laughs> over a year but I, you know it's just they're always out of stock online so I got three colors and I'm wearing the red one red velvet right now and I love it guys it is <sighs> I can't stop looking at it I can't stop looking at it first of all this packaging is adorable it's so cute it's adorable I love it um, and then it says red velvet. I mean, I just, I know I'm not going to get rid of these. They're so cute. I need to figure out a way to display it or do something pretty. Um, but, and then the package itself is gorgeous. It has the beautiful, like, rose here and lime crime. And then it's this frosted, um, I'm sure it's like an acrylic or a plastic or something, but you know, it looks like frosted glass. Twists open and it has a really small doe foot applicator. And normally I like something bigger, but because it's so pigmented and so matte, um, it's not necessary. Now, and a lot doesn't come out on, oh my God, guys. I legit just went over a few times. A lot doesn't come out, but you don't need to. I'll always start in the middle I won't go near the edge of my lip lines at all. I'll just start in the middle and kind of transfer it and then slowly work my way out because once this goes on, it does not come off. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, nothing. Nothing, that's awesome. Put it to the test. The next one I got was in Suedeberry. And I don't know if I love this one, um, but I think I will like it more when I have a little bit more color on my skin. If you're not noticing, I'm a little vampiric right now. <laughs> I know I made up that word. So this is suede berry. Oh Lord, let's let's go on this side. Oh, do you see the way that applies, like butter? And this is just more of like a corally. It's definitely more of like a corally color with like a little bit of pink, peach, orange, which I guess is what a coral is really beautiful color and then this last one I got was Salem I was really I really wanted like there was a dark dark red and then there was like one that was like completely brown and uh, luster Lux was just driving me crazy I wanted like all these crazy ones but I was like you know what I think I this is like the one I'm excited for but a little nervous it looks like a straight up brown and it is called Salem which is funny because that's a city that's like neighboring my town <laughs> look at this now I haven't even swatched this one. I'm gonna swatch this one across. Super dark. Oh my gosh, it looks like mud. It straight up looks like mud. Look at that, guys. And I know it's ridiculous. Like, when are you gonna wear that? But I will. And I actually like the way these smell. They kind of smell like, van like not vanilla, like cupcakes, <laughs> like icing. And you guys know, in one of my like how to get to know me video or get to know me videos, I'm like, I'll eat icing right out the tub. So I know this brown is completely unrealistic and unnecessary, but I will definitely wear it in a video and at some point I'm wearing it out. I just feel like with pale skin and a dark lip and something neutral like this on my eyes, which I know is still pro like in the video probably looks still really heavy and it is. Um, but like this like dark brown lip and my dark hair and I like all black or something. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's a really edgy, sexy, hip look. So I ended up getting Airborne Unicorn, which is a purple color. This is the box, again, adorable packaging. And this is the lipstick. I know, I think these are like 16. These are, it's ridiculous. Beauty lovers that love makeup so much and our obsession with packaging. It says Lime Crime and Silver. It has this gorgeous little unicorn. I know this should not sell me, but it does. And it's like this tin. Now I have not even swatched this. <sighs> you guys know how I am with purple. So this is Airborne Unicorn. It's very creamy. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. I definitely think this is very similar to stuff that I have. <sighs> Big shocker. But maybe I'll swatch some things and if it's really close, I'll get rid of a few more and keep this one if um because this is so creamy. Oh my God, it's so creamy. Look how beautiful, guys. 
<sighs> I just love it. Let's make sure this lines up. Get that unicorn lining up right. So these are all of the lip, the products I got from Sephora. Basically, everything was a lip product and then some brush cleanser. <laughs> That's how I roll. But yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I did get. Um, test them out for you, swatch them, let you know my thoughts. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you bought anything recently at Sephora, whether it was with a sale or not, comment down below and let me know. Share your thoughts if you tried any of these products. If you want to see any looks or lips, like a lip swatch video or anything like that, or if you can suggest anything for Salem, which is this brown, let me know. Or if you have pictures of yourself or your friends wearing it, tag me in them or let me know also so I can check them out. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.